You know, the more that I think about the NDP party and where they are in the political world of Canada, the more I can't really help but think that maybe the end is actually near for Jagmeet Singh. I'm not saying this is going to happen anytime soon or that there's for sure going to be a next election. However, based off of these recent polling numbers, you know, he's projected to get around 18 seats. At, he's looking at third place at best. Possibly fourth place. The party's broke. They don't know how to manage money. Their constituency office, they can't manage that for 14 hours a week. No one's there. The lights are never on. Even when they say they're open. Polling just came out today. Jugmeet Singh is on average polling at around 18%. Some have him a little bit higher. Some have him a little bit lower. But he's just kind of stuck in the mud. And with how bad the Liberal Party has become and the fact that their numbers are plummeting, like how is Jugmeet Singh such a weak leader where he can't attract those disgruntled Liberals over at his side? It doesn't make any sense. Other than the fact when you look at his record and how he presents himself and he's you know pretending to be a tough guy when the cops are around and you know he keeps repeating himself but he's ripped up the agreement but he keeps voting with the Liberals. I mean, it's just... He's so unlikable. He's a horrible manager, which again, we do not need a horrible manager after 10 years of Trudeau. People are understanding very clearly that it is time for massive change in a conservative in a conservative manner. I mean, let's be honest. Liberals come in here, they screw everything up financially, the conservatives have to fix it. Then they fix it, people get complacent, and they decide to vote for the liberals because of some social ideologies. And it's like, when are we going to learn to stop kind of going back and forth here? If there's corruption with the Conservative Party, which I'm sure there is, stop going back to the Liberals. We ought to find a new party because the NDP ain't it either. We need a third, third party, basically. I, even then, you look at the Greens, the PPC, crappy leaders. If you just had one solid politician take over either any of the PPC, the Greens, or the NDP, the liberals and the conservative might might actually be in trouble. But they keep going with these incredibly cowardly, weak people who don't know how to get anything done. And that's why their popularity is not going anywhere. So if the NDP does remove Jugmeet Singh, especially if they do it right after he gets his pension, which I'm sure he wouldn't even care because he's got his money now, are they going to go with someone who they can actually who can actually kind of, you know, spread a positive message and be believable and show that you can manage a little bit of money. Maybe get some people on in your party who, who, or people who used to be in your party who are now running for, you know, like being like a mayor of Hamilton or Toronto or London, where every single one of those cities mayors is a, is an NDP or a former NDP member. Maybe if one of them could actually run a city, maybe if they could, you know, pay off their debt properly, maybe if they could run a constituency office, just get someone who's not insane. Get someone who's not a lunatic. Get someone who's not a coward. That's all you need. And for some reason, neither of these parties can find it. And if either one of them did, I think they would be the the, the, the new third party. Whether that's the NDP, the Greens, or the PPC, but they got to do something. And the more I think about this, the more I think to myself, you know what? I think that after this election, especially if they come in fourth, the NDP is absolutely going to ditch Jagmeet Singh. Let me know what you guys think. I know this is a short video. I just was kind of think about this all day, especially after these polling and uh, this polling information came out. And I'm just thinking to myself, I don't see this guy being around too much longer. But maybe I'm wrong. I also know that in his writing in Burnaby, I think it's Burnaby South or Burnaby Central, the conservatives aren't that far behind either. You think he's, he's, his own writing is even safe? I don't think it is. Maybe he ends up winning it, and maybe he's kept on as leader. But I don't know. Something tells me Jugmeet Singh's days are numbered. But again, let me know what you guys think. And please also don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I will be back shortly with a new video.